Hi, my name's Troy Denny. I'm from Eliminator Rod & Custom in Bayswater North. We specialise in custom car building. Um, we've been going for the last three years, but I got involved into cars um, probably back when I was early teenager. So my father owned a panel shop. Yeah, been helping him build cars and worked for him for many years. And um, yeah, decided to go out on my own and do more sort of customization. Um, I really enjoy uh, building custom cars more so than restorations, uh, just because I can put my own touch on it. Most of the vehicles we're building at the moment um, a couple of the customers have got a fair idea of what they want the car to be be like in the end, but um, a lot of the um, customers will give us sort of creative control and we'll do some um, drawings and renderings of um, what they want to achieve and um, yeah, run things past them as we go along and run our ideas with them and um, yeah, just sort of work together to yeah, get the outcome that they, that they want. A couple of customers just happy for us to do our thing and um, they'll come in and uh, have a look at their car once a week or once a month type thing but um, yeah no, most of the time we just work with the customers to yeah, build what they they can sort of envision at the end. At the moment we've sort of we've got a couple of drag cars on the go um, a lot of customers are going the way of building sort of pro street style cars um, on full chassis but um, everyone seems to be getting getting their cars full engineered um, so they can drive them on the street, which is good. We're working with an engineer on most of the builds um, that are going street, full street reg. Um, we've got to just got to go by what they want really. So any car that's had chassis modifications on a monocoque design um, has to go for torsional testing and um, yeah, do a lane change test, brake test, the usual thing, and just yeah all clearance, work with the engineer on clearances and things like roll cages, making sure that they've got the right um, head clearance and not um, blocking off your vision when you're driving, things like that. Yeah, things like big wheel tubs and stuff, um, we're kind of limited to um, what type, what size we can run. Um, we've just got to, yeah, have a full floating diff and um, yeah, just make sure that the sizes from front to back are within the, the right range and yeah. So the car behind me is owned by Philabella. It's a HZ Holden wagon. It used to be his dad's car, so it holds a bit of sentimental value. Um, not that he's restoring it. Um, yeah, so we got the car, it had previously been worked on and then sat for, I think, seven years. So we've built a full custom chassis. Um, it's got a RodTech IFS front end in it. Uh, four link, parallel four link rear end with a fabricated nine inch, uh, full floating axles, um, watts linkage, and it's riding on shockwave shocks, so yeah, airbag. We've cut the whole floor out of the bottom of the wagon and then um, braced it on the chassis table. Um, built the chassis inside the car pretty much, and um, yeah, built new floors, um, complete uh, one piece engine bay. The, um, the skirts and the nose cone and that are all one piece, um, all welded together, so that'll pull off into just off the front of the car. Um, yeah, door handles are gone, um, the seals will be extended, quarters will be extended, uh, it's got no drip rails around the, around the roof, uh, plenum's welded up, it's going to have a full custom metal dash um, into a console wrapping around the rear seats. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's not much left of the car really <laughs> that's original. The biggest challenge on this car has been the chassis because Phil, the owner, wanted something a bit, uh, bit different to everyone else and it's got a whole heap of swooping cross members and um, yeah, it's just, it's uh, pretty crazy. It's been 
be a few hours put into the chassis. Um, that and just getting it to sit right and still be able to get a back seat and things into it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, no, it's been a fairly, fairly smooth build and um, yeah, no, it's coming up well. Phil wanted something um, a little bit different um, tin-wise and he's right into sort of the bead rolled at Swage swages and stuff like that so it's been a little bit of a challenge with all the angles in the engine bay and getting stuff symmetrical from one side to the other and um, yeah it'll be the same inside the way it'll all swoop around the rear seats and um, yeah it's a, it's a fairly tricky one to do but it's quite rewarding at the end when you see it coming together. The thing I've most enjoyed on this car uh, in this build is um, Phil's just let us sort of take control of how the how the car's going to look so we've sort of jotted stuff down on paper and then brought that brought that to reality and it's um yeah it's been really good the first time we got all the front suspension and the wheels and everything under it and had it going up and down on the airbags yeah it was really good yeah this car will be one of the first um we'll, we've done from start to finish so we'll be doing bodywork paint um, everything bar trim work pretty much in this car. So Phil's keen to um, unveil this at Motorex, so with any luck, uh, maybe the next one, most likely the following. So yeah, if you want to see more pictures of uh, this build or any of the other cars we've got on the go, just um, go to our Facebook page or Instagram, Eliminator Rod and Custom.